it's rain, it, I don't think it will uh, affect too much. You know, we had a good week of prep where it rained the whole week up at the sunny coast. So we were, uh, we've certainly been used to, you know, training in, in wet weather. And, you know, by all reports, it's going to clear come later today. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it tomorrow, depending on what the, the weather shows tomorrow. But, uh, you know, I'm very excited to be playing at Suncorp. It's a great stadium. Um, you know, we've had great success there. And I know the whole team really enjoys the atmosphere and, and the, you know, the vibe that comes out of, out of Suncorp. I think it just, just comes down to preparation. I mean, we've been lucky enough that we were afforded the, the luxury of, I guess, the two weeks leading up to this test week. So we've, uh, we've made the most of every, you know, every, every training session and every opportunity to bond well as a team. And I think um, that, that's been a big focus for us, is just to make sure that we buy into the way we want to play. And, and we, we, I think the credit, credit to the group, you know, we've been really focused on, uh, on making sure we prepare as well as we can and, and we're as sharp as we can going into this game. And I think, Mate, that's all you can do. I think Robbie said it earlier on, on in the week. You know, we're as best prepared as we can possibly be, and that's the best best that you can do. Yeah, sometimes I worry a bit about Mum, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, yeah, I think we've been here a long time now, so I think they're both very proud of of um, you know me being having the opportunity to play for Australia, and I'm certainly very proud to get that opportunity. So um, yeah, just glad they're they're both going to be in the crowd tomorrow, and my sisters as well, and that's that's very special. Oh, from what we've seen, definitely expected that they will play an expansive style of footy and you know, weather permitting, the ball will get thrown around. I think you know, when we have the opportunity, we want to look to express ourselves and play as well. Um, just obviously with the nature of it being such a big game, it'll be tight early on, it'll be a physical contest, but um, because it's going to be, uh, you know, we're looking to use the ball, I'd imagine you know, tired legs, weary legs, hopefully it does get a little bit loose and guys you know, from the bench can come on and look to expose you know, a few gaps and a few holes. Well, I think we're going to win, but uh, <laughs> but that's <laughs> but I don't know if we, I don't know if we're favourites or not. I don't know what the what the TAB or the or the uh, the totes saying, but uh, yeah, I, I feel we've got a, you know we've got every chance to win. I don't know whether it'll give us an edge. I, I, just, I think it's a massive strength for us. You know, we've got exceptional players like you know, Michael Hooper will do a great job for us, and you know tomorrow. But then you know, to have the luxury of someone like Liam Gill who can come on when he gets loose. He's great at the breakdown, he's, he's great at pilfering and uh, he's just got a really good all-round game. When the game does get loose, having a little bit of a sevens background, he's, he's got a good ability to play with the ball in hand and carry and also get stuck into the tight stuff. So, you know, we're, we're very fortunate to have those two guys in the group. We understand that the Lions play a very physical brand of football. You've seen that throughout the, the games leading up to this one. They've, uh, they've been very physical, you know, they've been very confrontational and that's the way they've... I guess played a lot of their, their rugby, so uh, there's a big job for, for, for the guys up front to make sure we, we not only match that, but uh, you know, we take the ascendancy there. Well, I think that we had a, a few guys in in Sydney, um, guys like David Giffen, who you know, played a lot of tests for Australia, and the one thing that he said was that it, there's only very few players that get this opportunity in a Wallaby jersey to play the Lions, and, and I think that's the big thing I took out of that, and uh, to speak to someone like that who's, who achieved so much um, and how special that, that Lions experience was to him. Uh, you know, that, that really hit home to us, I think. So, um, you know, we realise that it's a, it's a very special occasion. There's guys who have played, you know, over 100 tests like Sharpie who haven't got this opportunity. So, you know, it's important that we make the most of it. I think having watched the Lions in the last few weeks, there hasn't been too much, too much space around that sort of ruck area. They've been really strong. I think, you know, one, two, three defence uh, zone. So, if that's the case, then obviously there has to be space somewhere else. So it's just about identifying, you know, the right times and taking the right opportunities when they present themselves. So if it's on to run, it's on to run. But as I said, because uh, it has been very tight around that area, maybe it's it's on early to just look to sh to shift to, you know, guys like James Christian or give it early to the forwards to do the hard work early on in the game. So in, in terms of tweaking my game, it's probably just realising, you know, when to have a go and when to to keep things simple and just look to shift.